Okay guys, welcome back. What I'm going to show you today is a little bit of work we're going to do on this uh, 91 Formula 350. As I had explained to you the other day, we just got this one in. Really not too bad of a broken toy. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's got a few little odds and ends we need to fix. And one of them, the first one I'm going to try to tackle here will be this broken headlight assembly. As you can see here, looking if you can see that bracket, see that bracket's broken right there. So the headlight is just flopping around inside of here all loose and damaged. So what we're gonna do is, if you didn't know, and I'll show you here real quick, when you can't get the headlights open on these cars, you basically take the thumb wheel, if I can get this over here to behave one-handed, and you turn it like so. Second, and what that does is it raises the headlight. So, what I'm going to show you here in a few minutes is not too many pieces to this headlight assembly. It looks more complex than it is. There's a bolt here, there's a bolt underneath here, and two in the front, and it's actually missing uh, the bezel. So, that makes it a little bit easier for us. A couple bolts in here. So let me get this out of here real quick and I'll be back in a second to show you guys how it looks all taken apart. Okay guys, as you can see with the cover off, you can actually see a little bit better this broken piece here and how that just broke straight through. Guy I got this car from says that up north where you have snow and things like that, the snow will freeze the headlight or the ice will freeze the headlight assembly shut and cause problems like this. We don't really have this down south because we get snow like once in a millennium and then even when you do it's, it's a dusting. So um, what you'll see now is there's two more bolts here and here. I'll just take this one loose here and then this whole thing will come off and we'll be able to get to that lower bracket. So give me a few minutes and we'll work on this. I'll be right back with you. All right, we're down to the last stage here. And as you can see, there's our broken bracket and the mounting it actually just mounts straight to the radiator support in these cars there's where the headlight gear comes through headlight motor connection uh, so it's really not too complex it looks like more than it is when you're looking at it on the car these are your pivot points on the car so i'm gonna go ahead and take this broken bracket out of here discard of it and put in our new bracket that i scored from salvage the other day so i'll be back with you guys in a minute once i get this bracket out and the other one installed check back in a second all right as you can see there is our bracket with the headlight motor out of it broken tip right there as you can see so nothing too difficult stressful to get to um you know nothing bad um just a uh basic sheet metal pot metal type bracket holds it in as you can see, there's my shop helper. He sits and watches me do this stuff since he doesn't do much else as a worthless animal. So anyway, now nah, he's not a bad dog. He's just very uh, tame most of the time. So anyway, here's the opening here uh, with the uh, headlight assembly out. You can see there's really not much to it. Like I said, headlight assembly or radio core support with the headlight assembly all bolts together. So uh, I'm going to go get my other piece that's new, not new, but new to me. And I put this headlight motor on here, and then I'll put it back together and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, here we are with the new bracket installed with the headlight motor. So now all I'm going to do is put in the pivot mechanism with the headlight globe assembly and the bezel and the cover, and we'll be back in good shape here. So let me put this all back together, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's complete. All right, we're back with the finished product here on our 91 Formula. Uh, 350 as you can see we got a little bit of bad weather coming in uh, from the west looks like here in southeast texas but we'll get done before the rain starts so uh, as you can see this is the installed headlight assembly this is what it looks like installed like i said for those of you that may not have been familiar with it this is simply on the side here this little corkscrew knob if your headlights ever don't work yes i'm close man